Hey, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel, and last week I mentioned I ordered a new poster for the office, and well, guess what? Um, it's it arrived. The residual poster. It's pretty cool. It's a 60 by 91 centimeters, and um, fits the frame perfectly. So um, now I have another poster over there, Back to the Future, and I love it. Still love it. But I have an idea and I'm designing a new poster to hang over there. So uh, pretty soon I'll show you another poster. But uh, for now, residual. Which brings me to uh, the work I've been doing this week on residual. And it's been a very fun week actually, because last week I explained that most of the stuff that needs to be in the game and required for a full game, so all the missions and uh, that's all in the game. So the next coming weeks i'll be working on fun stuff tying up loose ends as well because there's a bunch of loose ends in the game that's how i work and that's how i like it but now we need to tie up all those loose ends because else they're just tiny little bugs or features that aren't complete so um fun week let's talk about that after the intro a bunch of interesting uh, mushrooms and uh, other stuff Okay, so what are these loose ends and what are the mushrooms that I just mentioned very briefly, but uh, I've been spending most of my time on it this week. Well, I've been spending a good amount of time on it this week, trying out different mushroom effects. I know I'm Dutch, but not those kind of mushrooms. No, um, in the game I had mushrooms, I have plants, I have fruit, I had mushrooms and at some point I decided these mushrooms will have a certain effect on you. They will completely heal you, um, but they might also do something else. I just never worked out what that something else it was about. So up to this point, mushrooms were there. You could pick them up, eat them and you'd be fine. Um, there are four different types of mushrooms growing on the planet and there are now about eight different effects that these mushrooms can randomly have. When you start a planet, um, every type of mushroom has a unique effect attached to it. And this effect changes per planet. So it's not that always the gray mushroom is always the same effect. It just depends on which planet you are. In some cases that gray mushroom might be perfectly fine to eat and nothing happens. On another one, it might make you dizzy. Uh, it might make you heavy. It might make you sick. You'll never know until you try. Now, um, you can also cook mushrooms. I also added that this week. In that case, the mushroom will be safe, but you'll need a campfire for that and you need the time for that. And um, there was something else with mushrooms, but I forgot. Oh, and you can also find antidotes for the mushroom effects, but you'll need to find the information for that on how to craft it somewhere on the planet. So um, in most cases, you probably just want to eat those mushrooms because some of these effects are pretty funny. Let me just um, show you and walk you through the effects and um, they're funny, they're interesting. All right, so let me walk through the code. These, these are the mushroom items. Uh, like I said, there are four different types of mushrooms. And then um, we have some shroom effects over, way over, there's a lot of data in this game, obviously. And um, I right here we have the different types of mushroom effects. So we have a uh, dizzy, we have heavy, gravity increases for amount of seconds. So you will, jumping will be harder. Uh, we have safe, nothing happens. This mushroom is safe to eat. We have jumpy, which will make you uh, jump everywhere like you're extremely excited. We have speedy, which makes you twice as fast when you're running around for just a short bit, but it's interesting. Then we have passing out. If you eat this mushroom, you'll pass out and you'll end up in the ship. Um, we have blind and actually you might have lost a couple of days. So um, interesting one. Then we have blindness. Pretty much the screen goes dark for a couple of seconds. We have flight. This makes you like uh, high. Literally, you'll be able to uh, fly up and jump up and pretty cool. And then we have the munchies. You don't want that because it decreases your food bar as quickly as it just increased it. And you'll be cold. Your temperature drops and uh, not a good thing, but still a fun effect. And like I said, you'll never know what these mushrooms, which effect you'll get. Four mushrooms, they are uh, four random effects from this. And um, a lot of fun. Let's see how it looks in the game. All right, 
let me sit you on a tripod over here. All right, so um, let's go and I'll cheat my way into this. Um, oh, this is still a bug I need to fix in a minute. I'll talk about this part of it in, in just a minute and this part you'll know, but all right. Um, let's go for a new, now let's go for this planet. All right, so um, I'll cheat myself into some mushrooms. Let's go for the first effect. Dizzy, and now I'm pressing the left button, and as you can see, he's moving everywhere, but um, not not really left. He's completely dizzy. The effect will wear off, and um, these bubbles will show you there is an effect active, and you'll pretty quickly understand what the effect is. So, um, all right, that was the dizzy effect. We're done with it, so I can climb up a little bit, get back over here. Eat some normal food because I'm low on health. I don't have normal food. I'll survive. All right, so uh, let's check out shroom effect number two. This makes us extremely heavy and we can't even jump onto this ledge right here. Um, it's not very useful uh, to have this as an effect. But that's kind of the point. The mushroom, eating the mushroom will completely heal you. That's a good thing but then the side effect of it might actually um, not be a good thing. It, luckily it wears off pretty quickly, which brings us to the next effect. Uh, this is jumpy, I'm not touching the controls right now. It's just, um, this is the jumpy effect. You're moving all over every direction. You can steer him a little bit, but he will keep jumping and moving. And uh, he's very excited after eating this mushroom. brings us to the next effect and it feels speedy right and this is a cool one um, as you can see we're running very fast we can move a lot of miles just after eating this mushroom probably the most useful of the mushroom effects but uh, you have no say over um, getting this one of course once you eat a mushroom all those type of mushrooms will have the same effect so once you know which one causes this, it makes it a lot better and a lot easier to actually get that effect. So let me get up here and try out the next effect. All right, this is the passing out effect. Um, you eat the mushroom and this is what happens. You wake up in your ship, no idea where you are, what day it is, actually skipped a couple of days. And um, that's the passing out effect back at the ship and uh, I think we still have a teleporter down there no we don't well that's a bad thing and let's go for the next room effect uh, blindness not a very useful one um, I think we're gonna disable these things although as a marker they yeah they might be interesting but uh, blindness doesn't last very long because it's very unuseful at all but it's a fun effect the next one, I feel like flying, right? This one is very cool because it allows you to do very nice jumps all over the place. Almost like very low gravity on the planet. And uh, probably besides being very fast, this is uh, one of the better effects you can have for the mushroom. And I think we had one more. Um, yeah, the munchies. Now he's cold, his energy bar is completely empty. He's uh, freezing. He's not a happy guy and his health bar is lowering and decreasing. This is probably one of the worst effects you can have. Even though your energy bar is completely full again, it quickly dies out and now you, have hung you are hungry, your food bar is empty, you need to eat something else or else uh, you die or pass out. So um, those are the mushroom effects. Now why do I keep calling this the fun stuff? Uh, because the game code and what I've been working on all these months, the engine, um, it has a bunch of functionality and a bunch of features and a bunch of stuff going around. And right now, things like this are pretty easy to implement. So I'm just hooking into stuff, stuff. I'm just hooking into stuff that already exists in the game, which makes it a lot of fun. Um, adding new items to the game as well. I just added hover stones, which I wanted to call it a jetpack, but it didn't make sense how you're crafting a whole jetpack. 
then you could easily craft and repair your ship and just take off. So not a jetpack, but hover stones using magnets because everybody knows flying saucers also use magnets to fly. Hover stones, and you can craft those once you learn how to craft those and they will allow you to do short bursts of flight. Pretty comparable to the mushroom effect, except more controllable as you are having an item that allows you to do that. So I'm adding a bunch of these type of items to the game. Pretty much I'm looking at what's in the game right now. Uh, for example, we have resources called the lithium. Everybody watching Star, well, Star Trek, Star Trek knows what this is. Uh, the lithium crystals, um, let's say we want to be able to quickly uh, locate those. So maybe we can craft like a locator device. It's not needed to complete the game because obviously you can just walk around the planet and search for dilithium. But what if there's an item you can craft and learn about to make it even easier? Um, this is all extra sauce and extra content on top of the core game, but it's also very easy to implement. And that's why this is a lot of fun work because um, I just have to come up with ideas and it usually takes a couple of minutes to implement it, build it into the game and it works and that's a lot of fun. Now also a little shout out to the Discord because we've been talking about mushrooms this week and uh, lots of ideas from everybody. So uh, shout out to everybody here on the Discord. And that brings me um, to this one. I just mentioned it because it was a little bug, already fixed that while recording this. Um, a new character has been added to the game. I was um, literally streaming yesterday, well for you that's last week um was streaming do some graphic and pixel artwork and um this little guy uh, was created let me just uh, go over here up to top and up to the right and there we have him a um, new character a little astronaut with a helmet um pretty cool he might be a new unlockable character so he might not be available from the start my idea is that maybe this guy crashed on the planet years before you did, decades before you did. So at some point you might find yourself crashing on a planet that already has a crashed spaceship. And somewhere on that planet will be um, his helmet, his body and his remains. Which probably is the same, but you get the point. Um, his remains will be on the planet. If you find it, you'll unlock this character, which I think is a fun idea. So um. Right now, he can be played by uh, people who have access to the game. But at some point, this guy will be locked behind a little uh, side mission. Now, having that character added to the game, that also means a little change to the player select screen. So uh, let me just boot up a new game right here. And uh, as I mentioned, this is now fixed. But let's create a new game or let's just delete this one. Yes, delete forever. Uh, start a new game and we get a character select screen and now the spaceship that you can uh, fly away in. And that's it for this week's video. Um, I did a lot more, but if you want to see the full changes list, um, I'm posting it every week on Discord or you can click the link in the description for the Steam store page. Uh, it has the update information and everything that's being done on the game. So everybody keeps, uh, keeps being updated everywhere. Right, there's still a contest going on. Uh, for that, check the Discord and then the news channel. Or Yeah, the news channel has information on the contest, creating a tileset for the game. Uh, you can get your name in the credits, copy of the game and a hoodie of Orange Pixel. So again, I don't have it with me, but last week's video I talked about it. And on the Discord, all the information is there. And you can still participate in that. There can be multiple winners. There can also be none winners at all or something in between. We'll see. It's a fun contest. Just uh, have some fun with it. So check out those details. I also have a lot of people now asking me when is the game done? When it's released? When can we buy it? Where can we buy it? And I have no idea about all of that. Um, explained it a couple of times. There's a publisher now as well. Um, this is going to be a bigger release than my usual games. It's a bigger game than most of my other games. And uh, we're going to release it on console as well. So even if I manage to have it completely finished in February, which is my deadline for myself, then um, we still have to port it to uh, Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. That's going to take a couple of weeks. Um, you can't release just with the press of a button on those devices. That's going to take a couple of months. Uh, there might be some marketing and PR. So um, 
I might actually be working on the next game by the time this one releases. I have no idea just yet, but it's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be good. And even when uh, we're doing the ports to the console, I plan on adding more graphics to the game. But right now I'm just making sure all the code is there, all the important stuff is there so that we can port all that code for the consoles. And then I can still add a bunch of graphics because that doesn't require a lot of changes in the code anymore. So um, new tile sets, new backgrounds for the planets, all that stuff, I can do that while Friedel is working on the console ports. And um, it's a little bit of new management for me to handle all this stuff and have to make sure, well, management of myself to make sure that I uh, plan everything and my time is better coordinated because usually I would do graphics and code and graphics on a day and just mix it up. Now it's just more uh, convenient and easier if I do all the code first and then figure out some extra graphics later on. So, And uh, release date, like I said, I have no idea. Uh, it's done when it's done, it's released when it's available and um, that's all I can tell you about it right now. So um, that's it for this week's video. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below. If you have no questions, drop something else in the comments below. And um, like, subscribe, and drop on the Discord if you want fun interaction with me, but also other gamers and developers. And we have a very uh, wide audience in age range because I think the youngest are 14, 15, and the older members are I'm, I don't dare, they are older than me. Some of them are older than me. So um, that doesn't say much either, but I'm not getting out of this one. Uh, just come hang out on the Discord. It's a lot of fun and um, I'll see you next week. Bye.